thank you very much, everybody. It's been, your participation's been wonderful, but I have one more favor for you to participate. So I have a question. Involving stakeholders in research and management is essential to the sustainability of the fishery. If that's true, I'd like you to stand up. And don't feel you have to. <laughs> Making science that resonates with fishermen, doing that bit together, but then fitting it within the policy framework that allows it, accepts it, and enables it to make it useful, which is what we're all trying to do. If you actually have evidence it's true, stay standing. If you just think it's true, you have to sit down. Wow. And on that note, I think we should break for lunch. Thank you all. Modern view of sustainability is, it, is that it's quite a, an all-encompassing, holistic um, approach. It, it includes ecological and social and economic and institutional aspects. And to really deal with that, we need the contributions not only of, of government, but, but of industry, and even, I would say, of, 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 the, of academics. It, it's important that we all work together to achieve that sustainability. And that lack of consensus, unless we deal with it, becomes a problem. It keeps us apart. It's like the elephant in the room. If we don't deal with it, if we don't resolve it, if we don't speak together and come to consensus on this, it will keep us apart. What struck me in GAP2 is really the fact that uh, fishermen were engaged uh, upstream in the process, designing the research questions. I think this is very important for a truly collaborative uh, process. So they are not only the recipient of, uh, of science, but actually they contribute to science. Fishermen are very open to uh, new ideas uh, and, new, and help in sort of formulate the policy. Um, we're coming around to thinking that real-time data is, a, is extremely important and useful. It, it proved so this year, I think, at the December negotiations, that we were able to get data into, um, into STCF. I think that's a story maybe that's maybe repeated across Europe, maybe. Working together, it's, it's a demand, it's a present demand of the society, not only in research on fisheries, in all governance. We need to work together, discuss together, and implement a consensus. With this consensus of uh, all the sectors, the rules are uh, better implemented. I've been involved with working with scientists um, from a long time ago. We used to take students out from Leicester University for trips on the boat. But as a lot of the fishermen know, it was a one-way system. They took information from us and we never heard anything back. Um, you never knew what it was used for, how it, how it was used, whether it was ever used at all. The gap too was a carrot. They hung a carrot in front of us. I guess that would be the way. They offered this um, feedback and the ability for us to be involved in the decision-making. And I think that's what really got my interest in this project. El poder trabajar conjuntamente no solo me ha beneficiado a mí, sino que creo que ha beneficiado a todos los actores. Hace tiempo que en Palamos tenemos esa sensibilidad, y igualmente yo a modo particular propio, pues tengo bastante te hace como 20 años que colaboro con los científicos. Tuve la suerte de hacerme un diario día por día de mis anotaciones, de dónde iba a pescar, el pescado que cogía, incidencias climáticas, tipos de red, tipo de pescado que cogía, en este caso la gamba, y eso pues, nos ayudó bastante a poder hacer un poco el embrión, el principio de ese compromiso, de ese recorrido que hemos hecho juntos con el Centro de Investigación de Barcelona. Co-management is a way to bring them on board, to explain you know, what, what is also the, the bigger picture. I think this is very important to, to raise awareness, but not only to do that, also to empower okay. them, really. Yeah. Fishermen know that you know, being a scientist or a policymaker is not an easy job, but the only thing fishermen are asking you today is that, fishermen, uh, that the scientists and uh, legislators listen a little bit more to what fishermen are saying, you know, that fishermen really want to take care of the stocks and they really want to stay in the industry for a long time. Thank you.
we can do is that we can encourage the managers, we can give them an opportunity to speak up. And I think that uh, if the people realize that this is, there is you know, worth, true worth in this initiative, eventually even the contracting parties who will retain the power to take decisions will take this into account and maybe we'll see, a, I don't know, a mushrooming of, of you know, key management uh, cases throughout the Mediterranean. So, of course, we are uh, very interested in, in, in following closely this, this ongoing work and, and give, them, give the managers, I mean, an opportunity to, uh, to be uh, visible. Take the chance, take the opportunity and go with it. Definitely. You know, it's trust, that's the thing. You've got to give each other trust. And um, I think if you play ball with them, they'll play ball with you. And it, all I can say is from my experience, it's been really good fun and very positive.